I'm Nathaniel Fingel. I am a crew leader for the facilities maintenance department at OPBD, and I am the training captain on the fire and rescue department in Riverton, Iowa. And I've been doing this for 21 years, been a captain for 17. Uh, my name is Greg Gilmore. I am a senior engineer in distribution engineering uh, for the customer side. Uh, and I've been on Irvington Volunteer Fire Department for uh, about 20 years coming up uh, here in December. And I'm currently a firefighter paramedic. My name is Jason LaFerrier. I'm a lead utility coordinator for customer sales and service for OPPD. I'm also an assistant chief with the Irvington Volunteer Fire Department. Sixty-seven percent of all firefighters in America are volunteer. If you get in a rural area, rural America, your fire and EMS is volunteer. I think most volunteers will tell you that it's it's the gratification of helping somebody. You know, being the best part of someone's worst day, knowing that you could save a life or save their property or, or help them when they need help. You know, I started down here um, wanting to kind of be part of something bigger than myself and give back to my community. There's a lot of correlation between OPBD's core values and the Irvington Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, we all have a passion to serve. We care about not only the public, but we care about each other. Uh, same with OBPD. There's a lot of helping each other out that I think is you know, kind of second to none. It's not for everybody. Going into a burning house or you know, being on a car accident or dealing with a sick patient, I feel like it's my responsibility if I am able and willing to, to like be able to give back. It does take a lot of time away from family. Uh, there have been you know, birthday dinners where we've been sitting around at the table and the pager goes off and you just, the kids are trained that, you know, oh, dad's got to go. What better way to honor the community than by, you know, serving on a volunteer fire department, helping people out in their darkest hour. 